go and find out what the blacksmith has for us. Why did the charge end there? Precisely? Is there a limit to how far the charge can go? That doesn't make any sense to me. I've, I've had... Maybe it's how far it can go before... Huh. Also, that's amazing. Okay, so... What I... What do you mean? It's finished? Oh, no, 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 I see. Okay. It could be... that the charge has a very limited area before it has to do something. Which would be perfectly fine. Just gonna move a couple of this is gonna take a bit. I apologize. Basically, I don't need all of these things inside the loop. Like the loop doesn't need to be this big. And the loop was very rarely this big when I was doing this previously. Certain things need the maximum distance that they can get, which is fine. But that would function perfectly well. The only requirement is that it has an opportunity to activate both of these stones on its route. But everything else surplus to that demand. those so if I want these to get the best oomph out of it I do kind of need that in that spot uh, do something like that now oh, the shield is outside the loop now unfortunately do you want it to be in the loop somewhere? Because it adds haste. Uh, okay, so that's always to the left, no matter which direction it's pointing. Well, then I could do that, I suppose.
there, okay. That should work. Major problem Kira pointed out. Could use the ruby as an outer edge corner. He's lost the weakened poison on explosive with this layout. Oh, I, I have. You're quite right. You're quite right. So I would need it realistically down there. Damn. You're, you're quite, quite right. that that still works in fact that works sufficiently I would say yeah I would say I would say that works enough and it tightens this this route a lot that might be enough We'll, we'll have to see. This will only trigger once per turn, though, which is less ideal. Um, so... That at least will work. And this will trigger all three times in the loop. Bow triggers before the buffs. Uh, I'm not going to really worry about that, if I'm honest. I could fix it by doing this. but And that would increase the shield, but I'd also lose that. the gloves on the mana stone. Why? That's not a mana stone, that's a, a shield. I need energy to pass over that one. And the later it passes over it, the better. Uh, yeah, because if I put it over there, then it's only going to affect those ones or those ones. I mean, I could just get rid of that entirely and, and have a reverser. That's, that is completely an option. And I could still have this. Even though that's not going to give me a lot of block now. Whereas down here, it gives me quite a lot. It gives me, uh, four block. Realistically, that actually doesn't... That isn't the important thing. It's having it there at all, because as haste builds up, then this builds up how much block it gives me. So it really doesn't matter having that up there. So instead, we can have something like this. That way, the buffs will trigger before the, the bow. I think this is about as good of a setup as we're going to make. I don't think I've got a ring, do I? No, I don't. You see, that would allow me to have absolutely stellar amounts of regen. Never mind. I could add slow to a weapon, but I won't. I'm gonna go and have a look for a ring if I can. There we are. I could buy that and trade off this. Now, you might be wondering, why, why does one regen help? 
is because my regen will only decrease by one each turn. And if I have a ring that's giving me one regen each turn, then these, uh, this six regen that I will apply through this wand will stay on. And so I will regenerate six health every turn in perpetuity. Take care, Bilal. You have a good one, buddy. Yeah, loads of arrows and bolts. But how are you doing this morning, Demi? And that one gives us plus max HP as well, which is quite nice. Do I still think I'm going to use the whetstone? Uh, yes, if I can find a renewable source of things to grind up. Or... I can find an actual charger. Uh, sorry, a booster. Because if I had a booster, that is an item which, for each individual charge, can be used twice. And when a charge goes through it, increases the charge by one. In combination with a repeater, can give you uh, inf infinite en energy. Because let's say you, you send two energy through the repeater, it splits up into two pulses of one energy each. Each pulse goes back and then uh, goes through and then back through the charger. It's now a charge of three and then goes back into the repeater. It's now a charge of three, uh, sorry, three charges of one and does the same thing again. And it basically, you know, expands. You can end up with a system that never stops. It's really, really quite powerful. And if we can get that, then the whetstone becomes a possibility. Would it be better to, to stuff the floating arrows in the bottom left and have more room for your arrows on the bottom row uh yeah that is actually a really really good idea because you're quite right the reason why we put our arrows on the top is largely because of the restrictions due to the floating arrows that's a really really clever idea well done you We have two amplifiers at one point. Oh, there we are. I was like, have I lost an amplifier? This feels most peculiar. Imagine losing one of your amplifiers. my things down there. I don't know what's mine anymore. Only issue with this system is that while now I can stack so much more damage... I do lose one arrow. Still, all of my arrows now get powered up. So, it is that. I do lose my boots, though. And that is a shame. You can have these, then. Crap. <sighs> Get 
guess we're just leaving the boots behind, Chad. As much as I wish we could take them with us, that is a no-go. They're heavy, which means they sink. That's the issue. Swap these with their items and then place... Uh... Hang on, sorry. Avak, maybe swap short arrows with their items and place the crossbow and stones in the second row. I can do that, sure. But the crossbow and the stones are never going to be activated now. Move the corners up. Sure. But now I can't fit my wand anywhere. I can do that actually. But I'd need to move. Yeah, I suppose that does work. But now this is being activated. Well, actually, that was being activated before. Uh, so, unfortunately, no, that won't work. Not unless I do something like this. No, this is still now outside of the loop, which is the problem. Though, I, I mean, I guess it doesn't hurt for the shield to be one of the first things hit. We'll give this a, uh, we'll give this a spin and see how it does. Oh, actually. You're quite right. Could do this. That does work. Does make us a little bit more vulnerable to a two by two curse, but so far we haven't had to accept, uh, skip a curse, so we've got a little bit of leeway to play with. Okay. Each turn, this adds regen. Hello. Right, let's see this in action. The only thing we're missing is a regular source of spikes. Yeah, that's a good call. 
dropping the ruby corner down there would be a good move. Uh, much sad. I keep getting excited and this keeps being the wrong thing. Uh, useful sail fodder though. That being said, uh, yeah, that is one place that we can sell things, so... Might as well make a beeline for it. Quite do as much damage this time, but right, so the big badger is dead this turn. Most debuffs become pointless with crit if you can get an infinite energy loop set up. You can kill anything in a single turn, even if that turn takes forever. Uh, Moralin, yeah, I was mentioning earlier to Peeps that uh, I, I think it was at, on my fourth endless loop. It was like I'd start the fight and then, unfortunately, I couldn't walk away for 15 minutes. But even the most basic fight took 15 minutes long because I had a curse shiv grinder build and so i had to keep selecting where to place the curses even though there was only really one place for them to go um and status effects didn't matter at that point it was just raw damage but one of the things i had for that was this a whetstone that incremented the raw damage once you have that you can just kind of give these up as long as you have infinite amounts of uh, amount of damage uh, sorry yeah, energy potential this is a shocking amount of crossbows I can only assume that the game tries to give you things that complement the build you've got because I've never seen this many bow type things drop. Ever. Really. Now we want that. Uh, now we want something that which can add energy to it. I can't believe we put regen on this though already. God damn it. I knew I should have come down here. I knew I should have gone and checked first. That's true. We won't care about the mana if we use that ring yet. That's a very good point. I'll buy it. We won't be using it for for now, but it's also kind of a, a an awkward one because I would need it to be in like a spot like that. But we can make it work. But that's for a future. That's like a future ring. I want to take it out of any potential area where it might get mixed. But yeah, it would need to be somewhere like that, for example. I'm 
very sorry, Your Majesty, but uh, I'm gonna need to ask you to leave. And by leave, I mean die. Oh, good call. Yeah, I need to pull the explosive across. Very, very good uh, point. It really won't matter because I think this is the second level of this area, so we're about to go and fight the final boss. Nothing really there worth us looking at. Uh, care to do a trade? A warning from your internal systems. Someone here cannot be trusted. Through the darkness, your mechanical eyes see him clearly. A rat. Let's make a trade, he says. I'll give you a rarer item of the same type. He chuckles. There are no guarantees. the gloves he said I'm gonna it how's this for a trade there's no time to say no oh you gave me armor <laughs> you little shit <sighs> scammed I guess we're leaving that behind then. Yeah, yeah. I'm what a weasel. Apparently the plate armor isn't heavy. That's true, but it does make you slow. Yeah. Right, what we got over here? I was really hoping that this would have the final item which would allow us to make the perpetual motion device. But sadly, it absolutely does not. Shocking. All right, King. All the world will be your enemy. Ooh, okay, who in chat gets that quote? Ruby rotated just for lulls. I mean, I could have, but it was, it was pointless. Who in chat gets that quote? I do not and I am sad. Akira Dragonborn got it. Watership down. Uh, now. Oh. Let me remember the context of it. Lord Frith, speaking to Alephera, Prince of Rabbits, said, all the world will be your enemy. Prince with a thousand enemies. And when they catch you, they will kill you. But first, they must catch you. Runner, listener, Prince with a swift warning. Be cunning and full of tricks, and your people will never be destroyed. Well, that's a trip down memory lane, indeed. It's a story about rabbits. Yes, it is. Right, time to go. Ciao. Oh, 
When a weapon is used, as one hastes to the enemy, he's getting very fast. But I'm slowing him down faster than he's getting fast. Oh my god. Uh, what would we do? vote for a warship down reading from Avec? That would actually be amazing. But I don't think that would be allowed. So, whenever a weapon is used, adds one haste to an enemy. Whenever a shield is used, adds one rage to the enemy. Each turn adds three regen to the enemy. Right. Watership Down versus the Rats of Nim. Wow. Getting the king to do zero damage, that should be an achievement. <laughs> We've managed to pop 65 weak on king. Okay, I'm just going to wipe out the ads, just because I can. At this point, my arrows are doing stupendous amounts of damage. Six poison damage. Switch targets, thank you. <laughs> he died from the poison. Uh, Crit is like, yay, I won! Hooray! Good GG, everyone! Well played! That's what that happy little face said to me. Welcome to Avax Book Nook. Today, from the Horde, we have book name to read together. Aww. King died from poisoning, as all kings normally do. <laughs> Yikes. Right. Uh, item seen, 552 energy gain, 499 energy use, 382 damage dealt, 8,714. Player armor gained, 1,861. Player armor lost, 244. Player health lost, 27. Enemies defeated, 84. Items destroyed, 38. Player health healed, 141. Items created, 20. Done. The best item in existence. Yeah, I gained more than seven times as much armor as you lost. It's because most things didn't get a chance to hit me. They were already dead. Is this a roguelike? Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, finish choosing. Start watching now. Lose loses you HP. You regen would offset that. Yeah. Each turn loses two HP, but each turn I regen seven. So, but yeah, I'm glad that they have changed that to lose HP because this was a stupid, stupidly powerful. Like this was an automatic always choose before. Whereas now it's like, eh. Yeah, two XP from level up. It's kind of frustrating actually. Chat, that was the fox. You cost me my final level up, you scallywags. Dude. You see a golden cog upon the platform, reaching out. It lifts into the sky. Your machinery will restore Ordaria. This is only the beginning of your 